I don't like, I, I call on my parents, I hate calling my parents, I call my mum up for a chat, do you know what, do you know what happens? My dad starts speaking in the background, now I end up having a conversation through my mum to my dad, then after I've had that little conversation, my mum goes, oh, you better talk to your dad, so she puts, <laughs> my, you, my dad goes, you better talk to my mum, he puts my mum on, right, and then I, I start talking to my dad in the background, after I've had that little chat, me, she goes, me, da, fuck you, hold on a minute, let me just get this straight. <laughs> After I've had that, fuck it, let me go back to the phone, hold on. <laughs> right, you haven't heard this before, right? <laughs> There's one bloke going, no, I have. <laughs> I, I call my parents, I hate calling my parents for a chat. I call my mum up for a chat, right? And what happens is my dad starts speaking in the background. <laughs> Then I, I end up having a chat with me dad, but through me mum, and then me mum goes, oh, you better have a quick chat with your dad, so she puts me dad on, then me mum starts speaking in the background, right? And then I have a conversation through, through me dad to me mum. <laughs> go away, go, stop, give us a chat. <laughs> anyway, when they all come round house, no fucker says a word. <laughs> <laughs> When women get on the phone, why is it? <laughs> when as soon as women pick up the phone, they start doing all that extra stuff around the house. Have you noticed that? You know, as soon as your wife picks up the phone, they start doing all that fucking fake dusting around the house. They're like, oh hello, yeah, well that's what I said. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's that? Suddenly they change into hotel inspector. You know, they start going around the house going like, yeah, well no, Thursday's good for me. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed yes. when blokes pick up the phone, they start readjusting, don't they? Moving stuff around. Hello, Pete. Nah, not too bad. <laughs> nah, just moving things around, you know, readjusting, that sort of thing. Have you noticed when your wife's on the phone, you know, there's a lot of mooing going on, isn't there? When she's on the phone to one of her mates, she's like, mmm, mmm, yeah. <laughs> it's like listening to a shit episode of Country File. So anyway, when my dad's on the phone, I mean, the mum's talking in the background, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, I, lo I, I, fuck it, I love doing this venue, it's fantastic, this, I love it. You know, because I've been doing loads of travelling, I've been doing loads of driving and all that, you know? And, you know, if you're doing a lot of driving, you need your sleep if you're doing a lot of travelling. I need at least seven hours kept a night, I mean, I'll sleep longer, but them cars, they won't fucking steer themselves, you know? <laughs> I hate that when you're asleep, somebody wakes you up, but you're still in your dream. I hate that, you know? Somebody wakes you up and you go, fucking hell, Sheila! Sorry, morning, Sharon. <laughs> hey <hate> there. <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> There's a woman down here went, eh, hey, that's me, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> hate that, you know? It's like, people are always surprised by time. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that? They go, fucking it was three o'clock. Fucking it was five o'clock. Why? You don't ring up the speaking clock and you go, on the third stroke, the time will be, fuck me, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> and I got stuck in roadworks on the way into the O2, you know, by the Blackwell Tunnel. F I fucking hate roadworks. They always have that sign saying, slow. I think we should have one in their car we can stick out the window. We're gonna fucking move on then. Park my car in the multi-storey car park. It's got a sign in the multi-storey car park as you go in. Maximum height, but it shows you on the way out as well. Bit fucking late now, isn't it? <laughs> and I got in the car. You always know when the wife's been using the car because you get in it and she's done something freaky with the seat, you know? <laughs> Who the fuck drives like this? <laughs> but you actually get there before you even arrive. <laughs> I do loads of driving, loads of driving. You know, you ever done that? Strange when you're behind somebody and they're driving really slow, isn't it? You're all like, come on, mate, for fuck's sake. This is how accidents happen, slow fucking drivers. Strange when somebody's doing it to you, they're behind you, rushing you, isn't it? Completely different story. Suddenly you'll miss the fucking highway code. No. <laughs> Says 30, I'm doing 30. <laughs> you ever... <laughs> You ever, been beyond a, you ever been beyond a police car and they're doing 69? You're like, ah, come on, mate, it's fucking 70 here, come on. And then suddenly they pull over, now you've got to overtake them. You're doing one mile an hour more than him. <laughs> Takes you like fucking two hours to overtake him. You're like, ah. <laughs> Don't look at him, don't look at him. <laughs> don't move your lips, don't move your lips. <laughs> <laughs> I 
do loads of night driving, loads of night driving. You know when you're driving at night, you're trying to drive carefully and safely, so you've got your full beam on, you know, and then someone comes in the opposite direction, so you turn your full beam off, but he fucking keeps his on. <laughs> so then you start flashing him. Hey, mate, you got your fucking full beam on! <laughs> He's like that, I was just about to turn mine off, but fuck it, I'll keep it on now, you twat. <laughs> then you start beam jousting. Come on, look at the fucking come on. So moths, they love a they love a bulb, don't they? Moths. Oh yeah, you'd be driving up a country lane and you see a moth go like, ah, oh, it's a lie. Oh, it's coming this way. I love lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you ever seen one of those dogs on those retractable leads? You ever seen that? They actually think they actually think their owners accidentally let them go free. You can see them go, ah, fucking hold on, I've got a bit of room here, hold on. Yeah. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free! Ah. No. It's like ducks. Why do ducks eat bread? How the fuck did they get a taste for that? They've got no baking skills, have they? You never see David Attenborough on the TV go, and here we see in Greg's the Bakers. <laughs> the mullard holding a large slice loaf. You ever chuck the duck a whole slice? They get all fucked up. <laughs> they don't know what to do with it. They start pecking at the middle, you know? It's fucking wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like fucking Shakespeare, you know? <laughs> what is this I see before me? <laughs> but granary bread? <laughs> so why, why do tiny little birds this size have to sing their little fucking heads off so early in the morning? You know, and they're always happy, aren't they? You can hear them in the trees going, Good morning, I'm really fucking happy. <laughs> Singing my tiny little fucking head up. <laughs> Never any miserable birds in the morning, do you? Up in the trees doing a couple of Morrissey numbers, you know? Every day is like someday. <laughs> See, that's how birds communicate. They sing to each other. That's the only way they can communicate. Every day to a bird is just one big musical. They're in the trees going, ah, I see some worms, yes I do, yes I do. <laughs> yes, I see them too, yes I do, yes I do. <laughs> I'm going to bed now, well shut the fuck up then. <laughs> you never really birds sing out of tune, do you? You're like tone deaf birds, do you? Cheryl Cole, I suppose. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, I'll cut that, we'll cut that, that's not right. Only because she'll fucking sue me. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell her, will you? Don't tell her, don't, don't fucking tell her, will you? <laughs> eh? <laughs> really? I don't know what the fuck he said, but there we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, pigeons, you never see a pigeon on their own, do you? They're always with a bunch of other pigeons in the middle of town, don't they? You know? Oh, 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 yeah, they're all fucking hard in a gang. <laughs> you ever looked at a pigeon? You ever looked at one? They always look like they can hear something upstairs, don't they? <laughs> I got completely lost coming into the O2. I got completely lost. It's no wonder all the fucking one-way one -way systems round here. Even the signs go ah, don't know. <laughs> I had to ask somebody for directions. Isn't it funny when somebody asks us for directions, isn't it? Isn't it funny how helpful you are depending on what they look like? You know, if somebody walks up to you in the street and they go, excuse me, <laughs> could you tell me where the library is, please? You're like, ah! Oh, but there's a big tall blonde bird, excuse me. Could you tell me where the station is, please? I fucking live there! <laughs> tell me, I can lick your windows. <laughs> you ever ask somebody for directions and they end up asking you for directions? You ever heard that bloke? It's fucking hilarious. You go, excuse me, do you know where the station is, please? And they go, oh, yeah, do you know where the garage is on the corner? <laughs> no. Well, do you know the exhaust centre on the roundabout? Fucking no! I'm the one who's lost, remember? Fuck off, I lost somebody else, you twat! It's like when you're at the late-night spa shop, you know, and that bloke behind the counter's trying to give you directions. You're in one of the aisles and he's going, ah, just there, on the, on the third shelf! I can see it from here, you fucking idiot! <laughs> you 
know you're one of the Armstrong. Where, where? I can't see it. Where, where? Just there, you fucking fool. You know, it turns into one man and his dog. You know. Yes, that's it. That's it. Bring, bring. Got me shopping online in the end. You ever got your shopping online from uh, Tesco's or Sainsbury's? And that bloke brings it to your door and he goes, ah, sorry, we didn't have any cereal, so I put some cat litter in. <laughs> <That's a laughs> I mean, these blokes just make random stuff up and put it in your fucking basket. They arrive at your door and go, ah, sorry, we didn't have any cabbages, so I put my shoes in. the same way as him, we'd be knackered. You'd be in a shop going, oh, they've got no bananas. Fuck it, never mind. Crankshaft. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> People say the most ridiculous things. Like the other day, I was standing out here next to a door and a bloke went like, oh, you can't stand there. That's a fire door. If there's a fire, people are going to be running out of there. I said, I won't be standing here, will I? I'll be running with every other fucking you twat. <laughs> Like the other day I was standing on the platform of a station, an announcement come over the speaker, the next train is a non-stopping service. I'm standing there, a train went <laughs> What's the point in telling me that? <laughs> That's like walking over to the garden and going, see that train? I'm not getting on it. <laughs> That's like one of us running past the station going, hey, I'm not coming in. <laughs> Same thing. And what is it? What is it <laughs> with those people that get up out of their seat to get off the bus or the train and you jump in their seat and it's fucking hot, isn't it? <laughs> you think, how can someone's ass generate this much heat? <laughs> Oi, nuclear ass. <laughs> so when you was a kid, do you remember your dad had that Austin shipper bill for a car? Remember that? Everything in it was that black vinyl plastic. When he parked it in direct sunlight, fucking hell. When it was time to get back in the car, he'd undo the door. It was like he'd undo, undone a fucking pizza oven door, you know? All your fringe is gone, your eyebrows. He'd pull that seat back to get you in the back. You couldn't touch the seats. You were like, oh, 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 oh. You know, your dad would try and, your dad would get in the car to try and drive, you know, but everything's fucking hot. The door, the seat, you know, the, the steering wheel, the gear stick. You look like Mick Jagger having a fucking driving lesson. <laughs> You know, there's us kids in the back seat doing this shit, you know, your mum's up the front doing all this. Your dad's driving. People are waving at us as we're going down the street. Fucking hell, the Rolling Stones are on tour again. <laughs> and what is it? What is it these days, in, people in cars, right, at level crossings? You know, they're perfectly rational people until they see that barrier start to come down. They run a little bit late and the train's coming. They sit there and they go, ah, mm, here's me in a Fiat Uno, a small crushable object made mostly of plastic and alloy, and here comes a huge fucking train doing 100 miles an hour. Let's see if I can be here. <laughs> ding, 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 fuck! Uh -huh. What did they think? The train driver was gonna swerve. <laughs> 